WWE Payback is this coming Sunday. I cannot wait. I'm really excited on the sense that we just had a really good SummerSlam. And the week after, we have a whole nother pay-per-view with Payback. Now, honestly, I don't know why WWE did this, but I kind of feel like it's WWE hitting the reset. SummerSlam was this big celebration. The new Thunderdome. WWE overcoming the odds in the world today, and I feel like Payback will be them hitting the reset button, starting new stories, finishing old stories, and I think this marks the new era for WWE. Of course, Payback has been likened to retribution. Of course, Payback is another word for retribution, so a lot of people are saying that that's why WWE chose Payback, because remember, Payback was never scheduled. So maybe there's a big thing to go down at Payback with the group known as Retribution. Of course, we saw them on Monday Night Raw. We've seen them attack SmackDown multiple times. We've seen them cause chaos backstage. What could they possibly do at Payback? We'll have to wait and see. Now, interesting, only a few matches have been announced so far for Payback. I assume that other ones will be announced during SmackDown, maybe even on Twitter and social media by WWE in the run-up to Payback. So we kind of look in at those matches first, and then we're looking at what matches we think could possibly happen at Payback. But of course, starting with those matches we know are confirmed, we got the United States Championship on the line as Apollo Crews defends the title against Bobby Lashley. Now, I really think this should have been the rivalry from the start. I think Lashley is so underutilized by WWE. And when you see him on Raw Underground, you see why. This guy is literally a powerhouse. Now... I think this could be a title change. I think Lashley could potentially win the title here. So I'm going to pick Lashley. We got the women's tag team titles on the line as Sasha Banks and Bailey take on Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Yep, that's right. And I've got no idea why. They literally had a fight on Raw. Nia calls a disqualification. And then next thing you know, they're best friends and they seem to be standing next side by side. Why on earth did Shayna not just turn around and punch Nia in the face? They even had a thing backstage where Shayna slapped Nia. So I'm not exactly sure why they're teaming, but I do feel like now's the time for Sasha and Bailey to split. I think the titles, therefore, will change hands. And I think Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax will win. Keith Lee will go one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton. Now, I really like this. Keith Lee's debut on Raw was really good. He had sort of a match with Randy Orton that ended with Drew McIntyre getting involved. So it kind of makes sense that these two would then do this match at Payback. Of course, Keith Lee wants revenge for his friend McIntyre, who Randy Orton punted three times on Monday Night Raw. Um, I got to give the win here to Keith Lee. I think build him up, give him a huge win, and you can instantly make a megastar. Keith Lee's got all the potential in the world. And I think putting him straight into the main event scene... That's really cool. Now the triple threat match that everybody is talking about. Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman will challenge the Fiend for the Universal title. No holds barred. This could be really, really cool. Of course, a lot of people are just saying, oh, it's like a rematch from SummerSlam. Maybe. But. This is a whole new guy in Roman Reigns being added to the mix. Now, a lot of people are concerned that WWE could take the title from The Fiend. Um, I'm not concerned about that because Roman could pin Braun. Um, also, The Fiend could pin Braun or he might even pin Roman. He might retain the belt. It hasn't happened yet. Let's see and wait to see what happens. Um, it, this is a real tough one because you kind of know that WWE and Vince love Roman Reigns. So, you kind of think he's got to be the odds-on favourite. But I've got to stick with The Fiend. But as I mentioned, we do only have those matches as of recording announced. I will keep the description and the pinned comment updated with any new matches that get announced on social media or on Friday Night Smackdown. So, if you want to look at those to see if anything's been announced, look there. But matches I think could happen. The Intercontinental title match... In the rematch between Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles. I was very shocked that this match didn't take place at SummerSlam. Of course, it took place on SmackDown before SummerSlam. But I think that was because the Thunderdome was new. They wanted a big main event and they got one. 
and it really delivered. Of course, this is Jeff Hardy versus AJ Styles. Who the hell doesn't want to see this match? I think if this match does happen, I'll go with Jeff Hardy. Of course, maybe Matt Riddle versus King Corbin. These two have been in a feud since Riddle sort of joined SmackDown. So I can see this being a match at payback. Um, I think if this does happen, I think obviously Matt Riddle could pick up the victory. Although maybe we get a swerve with King Corbin winning if Chad Gable gets involved. Of course, Gable's been like collecting the King's ransom, so to speak. So it's possible, but I think Matt Riddle. Now on Raw, we got a match between Dominic Mysterio and his dad, Rey Mysterio, teaming up against Seth Rollins and Murphy. Now, this match didn't end. Retribution attacked the Mysterios at the end of the match. Now, a lot of people are saying this match could take place at Payback. I feel like it could and it probably should, but I don't think it will. Um, Rey and Dominic took a massive beating on Raw, so are they going to be fit to compete on Sunday? I have no idea, but I think if it does take place, I think Payback, the name Payback, would indicate that maybe Dominic and Ray pick up the victory here. Maybe we get Heavy Machinery versus The Miz and John Morrison. Of course, these two teams have been in a feud recently over the whole Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose thing. So that could make some sense. Of course, Miz and Morrison laughed when Sonya shaved Mandy's head. And, of course, that led Heavy Machinery to have matches with the two. Well, maybe we get the blow-off match at Payback. If that's the case, I think, obviously, Heavy Machinery win. Heavy Machinery got to be positioned really well at the moment. And, of course, Big E. I really would like to see Big E in some kind of action at Payback. Of course, they've tried to push him on this singles path now. And it feels like, although he's had some okay matches since, he hasn't really done much. And I feel like you've got to start using him on a stage and give him this big platform as a solo star. Same with Naomi. Um, she got a massive win on SmackDown over Bailey. So is it possible that maybe Naomi gets a match? Maybe some kind of a SmackDown Women's Championship number one contenders match of some sort? I don't know, but we probably won't know that until Friday. So it's one of those difficult things where you're looking at payback and you're saying... Okay, we know like four matches. We pretty much only know one from SmackDown at this stage. So what else could happen? It's up in the air. But it does leave an interesting question and thoughts as well. Because what do you guys think? What other matches do you think could potentially happen at Payback? Let me know in the comment section down below. I don't think we'll do another video on Payback on the lead up to it. We'll obviously talk about stuff on SmackDown breaking news on the channel up until that point and there will obviously be videos covering payback on sunday so if you are new to the channel make sure you turn notifications on when you hit the subscribe button we are now on the road to 30 thousand subscribers which is just incredible and we're going up and up every single day so i really do appreciate all of that support you can follow me as well on twitter at c wrestling uk and as i mentioned the description of this video and the pinned comment, I will try to keep it as updated as possible with any breaking news of new matches being announced and who I think is going to win those matches if they're not covered in this video. So keep an eye on the pinned comment, keep an eye on the description, maybe come back to the video once in a while just to see if any breaking news has happened. But let me know your thoughts down below. Please like the video also, it does help it rank up on YouTube. I should have said that earlier, but... I'm not a good YouTuber. See you next time. Peace!